Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Daniel aka Hashlips and welcome back to my channel where we have yet another update on this game that I'm busy building. Now, I have another request. Please let me know in the comments what do you think about the audio quality of this video? Um, because for the past few years I've been doing YouTube and I haven't perfected the perfect microphone and uh, I'm going to get a new microphone but I just wanted to find out how does the audio quality sound. Anyway, let me know and uh, I'll try and improve as always. So let's get to the updates. So in the last video, I showed you that I have some sort of NPC uh, mechanism happening where we can walk up to characters and uh, talk to them. So if you haven't seen that, go and check the previous video and it's pretty cool. And so in that video, I left off saying that there's something cool about the map that has changed. Uh, and indeed there is, if you look at the map, um, there are a lot of more, there are a lot more artifacts and uh, some of these black puddles. But one thing that you'll notice is that there are these forests and uh, these forests have these paths that you can go into. So let's go and explore some of these paths and these forests and see uh, where they lead to. Now it's going to take me a while to get down there. So while I'm walking or at, at least running, let me just say it's been very fun building out this game. And uh, you know, as you're building a game, you get to add certain cool elements. And so one of the elements you'll actually see uh, take effect right now. As you can look at the screen right now, you'll see this vignette forming. And so I've written a piece of code that picks up if you are getting closer to the edges of the map. And if you are, it becomes dark around you. Um, so much so that uh, in some areas it's very difficult to see. So here's the forest. And as you can see, I'm walking down. It's kind of awkward walking. <laughs> sideways and having to turn maybe I'll introduce a diagonal walk but as you can see the vignette starts forming as well and we get these uh, tree like structures around us uh, kind of making this pathway for us to follow and so this I wanted because they needed to be this added uh, darkness uh, to the game uh, almost like you're venturing into the unknown, right? Into this forest and you might encounter creatures or uh, might uncover spell books of some sort. How cool is that? And it's also very easy to do. So what I've done is I had a layer and it's called plants. And this entire layer uh, consists of a tile map object. And so I've got a tile map for my paths, but this time I made a tile map purely for my trees. I've got a big and a small tree. And it's very easy to use. While you're on this layer, you can go and select the tree you want to paint, select your paintbrush, and then just start drawing out. And you can also subtract them. And while I was busy drawing out this forest, I had a brilliant idea. So I have these plants on this layer, and I created another layer below it. And so if I hide this layer, you see all these little tree stumps. And so the idea I had was that the character could potentially cut down trees and then you would see the tree stump uh, below it. So all I did was I duplicated the layer and then I literally just removed the trees and created a tree stump and replacing that object. And this automatically just filled up uh, the, well, the layer below the trees with the tree stumps. And so now I can get an effect of actually cutting down the trees. Cutting down the trees was quite uh, a thing to work out because you need to work out what direction your character is pointing. And because of the uh, origin point of the character, if you now hold in C, you should start cutting down some trees. But the tricky part was to determine which trees to cut, because if you cut only one, your character can't move uh, through them. And also, if you're on the side, if you cut only the bottom one, so you can see here, 
uh, I'm actually cutting two. Otherwise, the character won't won't be able to move uh, past them. And so this gives us an interesting dynamic, right? Because now uh, we can go ahead and cut down trees. And of course, you won't be able to cut down any tree. Um, maybe I'll make trees that you just can't cut. Um, that's an option. Uh, or when you do cut a tree that you're not supposed to, then maybe uh, something bad happens or you encounter a creature. So now I'm holding down C and I'm just walking through the forest, cutting down the trees. And so now we can decide, do we want to make these trees grow back? Um, do we want the tree stumps to decay? All sorts of interesting things. Uh, but the fact that we can now cut them down, and this is purely a tile map, I thought this was very interesting to show uh, because there's a lot of objects and doing it through a tile map is a very efficient way of doing this. Regarding the vignette that gets darker as you approach the edges of the screen, uh, this is simply an image, a PNG, that has an opacity set to zero in a circle in the middle, and on the outer edges it's dark. So what I'm doing is I'm playing with the opacity level in the script. And so here you can see on every tick we're calculating uh, the, the max of the player, minus 7000, and you'll see the reason why it's minus 7,000 is because the screen size is 14,000 by 14,000. And so this calculation would give us a value between zero and 100. And so this is very nice because then uh, we can determine the opacity. So if the, the character moves to the outer edges, doesn't matter what direction, we should get it to go darker. And I thought this is interesting to show as well. Now, leading into the little Easter egg uh, for probably the next video uh, for the update uh, is an enemy. So I'm going to play, quickly start this up. And so the enemies have not been done at all, um, but I've started with them slightly. So you can see here on the right hand side, there's two enemies, or at least two skeletons. And as you can see, the one is starting to follow me. And it's a very simple script. It's using pathfinding and you can see both of them are following me right now. And as soon as they lose sight of me, you'll see they stop and they kind of do not know where I am, right? <laughs> they cannot see me because I'm behind the trees. Uh, so let me cut them down and then they can see me again. So I'm just going to hide here. They cannot see me. Although he is wandering around by himself and so if I now go ahead and cut some trees you can see me again and so this is the pathfinding that I'll dive into next week and as you can see there's a bit of glitches because he's pushing me around now uh, but that I'll sort out and I also would like to uh, show you how they are built um, what they're going to do and also add some attacks to them so that's going to be pretty cool. But anyway, thank you for watching this video. If you have any recommendations for me to put in the game, let me know. Uh, and also uh, look out for some art engine videos the coming months. I'm going to work on some interesting plugins, which I'll show on YouTube, which you can try for yourself as well. Other than that, have a beautiful day. See you in the next one. Cheers for now.